What's up YouTubers, Abdur7 here with another ROM review. This ROM is called Sino Wiz. It's because Sino Jamar plus Touch Wiz. So Sino Wiz. First of all, when you download it, make sure you flash Daji's kernel that I will have included in there. Once you finish flashing, make sure you, you wait like at least 5 to 10 minutes. Or 3 to 5 minutes, sorry, not that much. Then reboot your phone. If you can if you can't pass to the Samsung boot animation, make sure you go back and flash the Dajis kernel again with the wipe up Delwick and cache. After doing that, when you uh come around when you boot up the phone well this is the lock screen. When you boot up the phone you won't have data. Let me get rid of my Wi-Fi when you don't you won't have data so make sure you go to setting wireless mobile networks access point press menu and add new APN your APN should look like this don't worry I will have a, a full APN in the description plus you won't see ICS theme so make sure you go to theme manager this is all messed up right now so or theme chooser right now and you can apply ICS this Android or something sign on bread system ICS so there are like one two three four themes in it which world on you like you can apply uh, this ROM is pretty smooth you can see like no lagging at all uh, let's see in CPU spy what I'm overclocking into I'm running this ROM with the Daji's kernel by the way it's based on CM7 if you can't figure figure it out oh right here CPU spy so it's stock right now I'm gonna go in system tuner Twix CPU I'm gonna CPU. Come on, what happens? I'm gonna put it in performance. So this is how the TW launcher looks like. Touchwiz launcher. I haven't put anything up here, but I don't know. How. Oh, you cannot put something in there. I don't know how. But let's let's go, uh, let's go in launcher pro. This is my Launcher Pro. I don't like Launcher Pro. Let's go to setting above one. And uh, this is the kernel version. Uh, two point three points. I mean, two the Android version two point three point seven. Uh, the Mari is Sina at seven point two point zero. Build is Sinoways as I told you, made by Scene, my favorite or one of my favorite uh, developer. I'm just gonna go with Low Launcher, the one I always like. I still have modified. Okay, I'm gonna put it on random. Okay. Then these are the apps that I always use or I need to have all the time. First of all, let's do type M to two. By the way, you won't see uh, your SD card, internal SD card under your file manager. You have to go on mount on tab and mount EMM, EMMC. They will be the one that you need to do in order to see your internal SD card. So we will wait until uh, this benchmark has gets done.
it's probably gonna be around 6600 or 65 Some good is that this ROM has, I'm gonna go through it, it has a Bravia engine, it's a Sony Bravia engine, if you don't know what that is, just google it, I'm not gonna explain to you, it has a xCloud, he removed the upload limit on it, then uh, he has a modify build prop, Photo quality is better. Display detethering is added. Touchscreen response units is cranked. Uh, has a GPS locks in seconds. GPS locks in second camera both working. Theme camera as well. TouchWiz 4 and ICS launcher. ICS APKs all over the places. Change stock phone MMS and browser to look ICS theme sliding lock screen uh, added missing parts and mixed in in a few of his ROMs uh, stuff in this ROM that's why it's themed ICS and t trust me guys uh, other CM7 build wasn't finished and this one is not too but other CM7 had a problem this one did not or doesn't have problems that I noticed yet so he's a great great developer he plays bass in band i think and uh, his screen name is scene scream scene then z scream he already has like four roms out for skyrocket which i love Still waiting on the N22 benchmark to finish. Taking longer than what I thought. I go through all the details that the ROM has. Wow, this is I'm gonna have some messed up score. Cause it shouldn't be taking this much. Come on.
Well, I guess something is wrong with it. I'm just gonna leave it running. But this is the ROM that I was talking about. It has a stack. Uh, it doesn't have that 13 mod trigger on it. Uh, the power menu is pretty good phone option when you press reboot it actually gives you three options uh, what else what else so as I was saying you're not gonna see that your internal SD card in your file manager let me find let me find the file manager oh, right here come on You are going to have to go on mount and EMMC. That's when you see your internal SD card. So yeah guys. This is Sino with four I don't know why I'm getting it, but this is SinoWiz for uh, SGS i727 and <coughs> excuse me and you can use the ROM on T989 for uh, with uh, CM7 kernel and make sure you guys flash the RGS kernel after flashing the ROM flash it twice if you have a problem and for T989 Make sure you flash your CM7 kernel. I will have it in description. So it works on both. Thank you for watching video guys.